changing the name on your Google account. So you've created a Google account and you entered it a name and you don't like the name that you entered or you need to change it for one reason or another. It's pretty simple. First you're going to log into your Google account by going to google.com, click the sign in button. Let's sign in to my account, daniel.a.stucky at gmail.com, put in your super secret password. All right, so now I'm logged in. And right here I see that my name is Dan Stuckey. So I'm going to click on that. And as I click on that, I have the option to go to account. So I'll click on account. And I want to edit my profile. I click edit profile. And now to change my name, all I need to do is click on my name up here. And it gives me the option to change. So instead of Dan, I want to return it to Daniel. So I'll click on save, change name, there it is, it's done, it's saved. Okay, the second thing that I want to go over is creating circles. So I'm already in my Google Plus account, I'll click on circles here, and I want to just click on this new link. Before I put my cursor on it, it says drop here to create circle, but when I put my cursor on it, I don't need to drop anybody there, I can just click on create circle. And in here, I'm going to name this, um, let's say this is my Excel 101 class. And I will add a new person. So let's add Mike Van Meter at foothillschurch.org. And Mike Van Meter is going to be found by Google, so I don't have to add a nickname to it. So it automatically finds them, puts them in there there it's done. Now if I add somebody that Google can't find, so they, this person might not have a Google account or um, <clears throat> Google just doesn't know of this email address. Um, so for instance, Dave Hoffman at point, or sorry not point, uh, foothillschurch.org, enter. I'm going to have to actually add a name to this person. So I'll put in Dave and click on save. Now I have two people in my circles. If I wanted to keep adding, I would just repeat that process, add a new person. So now I'll click on create circle with two people. And it adds to my circle list here. Okay, and if I wanted to create more circles, just repeat that process, click on create circle and add the email addresses. Now I've done my whole Excel 101 class and I want that to be done. I don't want that to be a circle anymore. I want to remove that. So I just click on that circle and I have these options now here. I can edit the circle, share the circle, or delete the circle. So let's delete the circle. I'll click on delete circle and watch it drop off and roll away. And that's it. That's all there is to it.